Now let's talk about the periodic properties of trigonometric functions. Sine of theta is equal to sine of theta plus 360 degrees, or 2 pi. So what this means is that if you add 360 to theta, the sine will have the same value. So whenever you have the sine of an angle and the sine of another coterminal angle, they will share the same value. If you recall, to find a coterminal angle, you have to add or subtract by 360. So sine of 30 and sine of 390 have the same value because they differ by 360. Now, this equation is true for all of the trigonometric functions. Cosine, tangent, cotangent, it's all true for each and every one of them. So cosine of 50 is going to be equal to cosine of 50 plus 360 or cosine of 410. Cosine of pi is equal to cosine pi plus 2 pi or cosine 3 pi. So the word periodic means things that repeat. If I add another 2 pi and get 5 pi, cosine 5 pi will equal to all of these values. When you graph the sine and cosine functions, this is the graph of sine. It repeats itself over and over. So the value will be the same if you keep adding 360 to the angle. Now let's apply what we've learned into a problem. Let's say if we wish to evaluate sine of 420 degrees using periodic properties. So we got to find a coterminal angle that's less than 420. So let's subtract 420 by 360. 420 minus 360 is 60. So sine of 420 is equal to sine of 60. And based on a unit circle, at 60 degrees, we have the point 1 half comma root 3 over 2. And sine is equal to the y value in a unit circle. So sine 60 is root 3 over 2, which means that sine 420 is also equal to the square root of 3 divided by 2. Now let's work on some more examples. Go ahead and find the value of cosine negative 2 pi over 3. So cosine negative 2 pi over 3 is equal to cosine negative 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. And 2 pi is the same as 6 pi over 3. So therefore, cosine negative 2 pi over 3 is equal to cosine 4 pi over 3. So here's 4 pi over 3, and here's pi over 3. Pi over 3 is the reference angle of 4 pi over 3. It's also the reference angle of negative 2 pi over 3. So at pi over 3, or 60, we have the point 1 half root 3 over 2. Now at 4 pi over 3, the x and the y values are negative. Cosine is equal to the x value. So cosine 4 pi over 3 is negative 1 half, which is equal to cosine of negative 2 pi over 3. Let's try one more example. Sine of 750 degrees. Go ahead and evaluate uh, that one. So using periodic properties, let's bring the angle down. Let's subtract it by 360. 750 minus 360 is 390. So sine of 750 is equivalent to sine of 390. Now 390 is still high, so let's subtract that by 360 one more time. And so we're going to get sine 30. So sine 30, sine 390, sine 750, they all equal each other. And using a unit circle, we know that sine 30 is 1 half. So therefore, sine 750 is also 1 half.